Mole crabs are tiny barrel-shaped crustaceans adapted for burrowing in the sand. They are found in tropical and temperate marine waters worldwide. Some are up to two inches long, but many are less than one inch long. They live in colonies in the intertidal zone where the waves wash over the sand on the beach. The constant wave action consistently moves things around on the beach. Tides also change as the day progresses. Mole crabs must follow the tides to stay in their desired swash zone. Entire mole crab colonies move up and down the beach as the tide shifts. They have tough armor that blends into their sandy surroundings and protects them from oncoming waves. They have five pairs of appendages and a short tail known as a telson. The short, triangular tail is used for digging. To stay put in the sand, they burrow quickly and often. They use their legs to burrow backward, just beneath the surface of the sand. In areas like Chesapeake Bay, in the winter, mole crabs leave the beach and retreat to deeper offshore waters. Mole crabs have no threatening claws. They feed on plankton and detritus. They have eyes on short stalks and feathery antennae that are used for feeding. When the antennae are filled with bits and pieces of food, the antennae are curled back to the mouth and the food is ingested. Males will often attach themselves to females, becoming semi-parasitic. Females are typically much larger than males. Mating occurs mostly in spring and summer. Females carry as many as 45,000 orange eggs on their underside until the eggs hatch, about 30 days later. For some time, the larvae drift as plankton, and currents may carry them long distances. Fish and birds are the main predators of mole crabs. Many seabirds love to walk along the shore and search for mole crabs hiding just beneath the surface of the sand. Mole crabs are also caught and used as bait by many fishermen. The crustaceans are harmless to humans and do not bite or sting. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.